Hi Standard 4, how are you today? Okay, so for your artwork today, we are going to try with something new. We are still going to do perspective technique, but we are going to draw it in a different direction today where we are going to look at things outside through a keyhole. Okay, do you know what is a keyhole? Let's imagine that you are peeking outside through a keyhole um, at your front door. And what do you see outside? Okay, so we are going to do that. And for in front of here later, we are going to draw the, the door itself and the keyhole. And at the back, inside of the keyhole, in the middle there is the scenery that you are looking at outside. Okay, so for this one over here, I want you to use your own creativity where you can um, you can think of, try to think of what, do you, what scenery do you want to put later. Okay, you can put something like, um, you can put something like a scenery at, uh, at the seaside or in the jungle or you are looking at the road or a skyscraper or there could be someone peeking at you at the same time then you can draw an eye looking at you okay there are so many possibilities so many creative ideas you can think of okay try to be creative and come up with um, an interesting artwork okay so I will start with drawing the frame first okay so here's my frame now I'm going to start with the the keyhole first let's imagine that um, this is the door itself and then I'm going to draw the keyhole in the middle of the door so remember how a keyhole should look like you can um, Draw your own keyhole, that is up to you, but if you want to follow mine for this part, then you can follow mine. Okay, so I'm going to try to make a half circle over here. Alright, then after that, I will draw a half triangle up until over here. Okay, so there you go. This is the, your door, and then this is the keyhole. Okay, so over here, maybe you want to draw um, something like the, the screw or nail at the door. Okay. There you go. And then remember your door, let's say your door is made of wood, right? Then you have to make sure that it has a few textures on it. You can do the texture now or you can do it later as well. Okay. Over here later, let's try to put some shadow and also blending it. Okay. And then over here, I would like to make it look more 3D. So. I will try to create another line over here. Okay. To give a 3D look to my keyhole. Right. There you go. Alright, so this one, let's say I am looking outside through the keyhole. And what can I see over there? I could see a garden, a pathway to the garden okay to my mom's garden as a pathway a rocky pathway and then the rock become smaller and smaller okay remember that is how the perspective technique should look like it should get smaller and smaller and over here i have the the fence wooden fence okay so this is the wooden fence and then or maybe i want to put some standing fence 
Okay. Just the fence, standing fence. What else do you have in mind? You can try to create your own scenery. Maybe you when you when you look at the keyhole, you could see strange animals, or you could see um, character from the um, other lands, for example. Okay. Right, try to be as creative as you can. Okay, and then over here, maybe I want to put a huge tree and its branches is um, making a, like a get. Okay, so that's the tree. Okay, alright, let me see. So over here later, I'm going to put some grasses and also some flowers. And I will create textures on the the door itself okay and let me try to show you another one another idea if you want to make it look more challenging or more creative then you can try to come up with a keyhole let's say this is your keyhole and then what do you see okay maybe you can see there is a, a strange eye peeking at you from the keyhole okay so you can draw the eye the eyeball okay and then maybe you can color it in red okay to make it look more interesting or um, more creative you see a red eye looking at you through the keyhole okay go and then um, what color should be the pupils pupils may be in dark color or black color and you can color it okay something like this then this is the eyelid maybe Okay. the eye and the eyelid okay and then some vein on the eyes okay that's up to you which one do you prefer to do this or this or you can come up with your own um, idea as well okay so I'm going to start coloring this one first in time lapse to shorten our time okay now um, after you're done watching this video or while you're watching this video I hope you have um, think about um, the scenery that you want to do later okay if you want to follow mine that's fine but if you want to try to come up with something more interesting then you can do that you are welcome to do that Okay, you can use pencil color, watercolor, or crayon, and maybe you can use marker and highlighter, that should be fine as well. Okay, you may start now.